Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Redux. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 16. It's the year 2421. We're about 80 years away from, from uh, the end game, from the victory screen. We have a construction ship building a Dyson Sphere. And I have another one here that's going to build the research station. So I was happy at the end of the last episode to figure out that I did need, I figured out how to get the Dyson Sphere rolling. I had to de destroy my my outpost in this system and then start over, which was really bizarre, but <clears throat> it worked and I got it working. All right. Um, here is, we're gonna take care of some planets here. You can see there's a whole bunch of planets with the housing indicator. They don't have enough housing. Um, I'm looking at this, for instance, this planet, these guys, there are five artisan jobs here. Um, this is our home world. So what I'm thinking is, and we've got the amazing 2K coming from the black hole thing now. Um, I think I just want to resettle some of these people. I want to resettle a couple of people to Hab D. And we'll just do like technicians. We'll, we'll resettle like four of them, and that takes care of them. On this planet, it's a little different. Uh, we have we've gone to quite the the lengths here to build this. So what I'm going to do is replace the generator district with the city district, probably two of them. So when our species became synthetic, it, it screwed up our housing a little bit. So we're just trying to fix that. This is another case. I'm just going to do some of this. I'm going to replace districts with city districts, especially in cases where we're getting enough. Um, we're at plus nine food, but we're selling 280 of it. So, you know, we can afford to take some of the food away and turn it into housing districts. Things of that nature. And we can upgrade that building, for instance. So that's what we're going to do. In the meantime, you may have noticed this is what the board looks like. This is us in the green. We now have a substantial portion of the uh, donut. Looks pretty yummy, doesn't it? So, and, and everybody's happy now. Look, this is the opinion map mode. There's no red people on the map, which is startling. But after we won the last war with our federation, everybody decided to be friendly. So what we're doing now is preparing for war with this 001 continuity, the Fallen Empire. The Elgate, which we've been actively researching as they pop up now. And the Elgate cluster, we're at four of seven. And then the Endgame Crisis is coming, so a whole bunch of things are coming down the pipe here. And we have to be ready for them. This is another case where we're going to build a city district. And then I may end up replacing one of these things on here with uh, a paradise dome. This, this, let's replace that with a paradise dome and see if we can't get ahead of that. Still, I still wish the housing, I wish I understood exactly what had happened with all the bad housing there, but I'm just going to try to recover from it, so. And this needs jobs. So this is a case where we're going to upgrade these buildings to start providing jobs here. It's a lot of upgrades. But the minerals jumped from five, plus 500 to uh, well over 2k because we, we finished this uh, mega structure down here. So we got this built, the matter decompressor, and that is awesome. And I kind of wish I had another black hole somewhere. In, uh, in my systems, but I don't, I'm not sure we have another one, and I haven't actually looked, so I'm going to take a second here and just scroll and look and see if we can come up with another one. I don't think we have another one. I've never been able to finish that whole, I've never been able, I've never had a chance to do this with the black hole. Oh, see, there's one right here, Hell's Maw. There's a black hole there, too. Man, we could go put one there. Um, we'll do that after we get this Dyson Sphere underway. The 2K is plenty we're gonna be fine but I just think that's all. the mega structures are fun if nothing else the mega structures are a lot of fun this is a case where we lost a lot of housing we have a bunch of, of mining districts and because we now have the black hole providing 2,000 
per month, uh, we can replace this with city districts and not feel bad. And in fact, we can probably take this then and replace it with jobs. And this is kind of the same thing because we have the black hole. We can come in here and we can say, hey, replace this with cities. And uh, let's see what we can do with that. There are a bunch of places that still have jobs, jobs that need jobs. So we're going to do some of that work here in the early going of this episode. This is another case. Of, oh, some of the places where I had previously split some of the effort, clearly it's not going to work now. So let's do this and provide jobs. We'll try to get our, our whole empire fixed here. These people aren't as happy. They do have... This is creating amenities. How many amenities are we creating? Amenities provided 31 because we have a whole bunch of jobs. So we can make these people happier. Undergoing assimilation, one of zero. We have no clerks. We have a bunch of researchers. Two enforcers, one of two entertainers. So I'm not worried. As the jobs happen, this number is going to go up. Um, because right now this provides two jobs and only one of them is being filled. So we'll get more amenities from that. This, however, is a research part of the ring world. So we're going to keep putting research labs on it. This is Hab D, which is uh, this commercial segment. So I want to see what I can The Galactic Stock Exchange can't go on there until planetary capital is upgraded. Let's do that. This planet is running out of housing, but it has plenty of it. So we're going to do that. And we're going to say provide a couple more jobs by filling out the Ag Districts on it. Our, a lot of our people are undergoing assimilation now. You can see that in the population thing that it was saying. It said that on that one planet anyways, which is really cool. Because we are now an artificial species, which is awesome. We're fully synthetic. We've had our brains implanted into synthetic bodies. This is a research world and it has tons of opportunity for... I've, I've probably maybe overkilled my research. Maybe. But I really wanted to do that with one of these games. That I've played I really wanted to go see just how much research I could do this same situation there's a bunch of, look at all these buildings to be upgraded which provides just a ton more jobs and I don't have enough housing so I'm gonna take these and replace them with some cities city districts this has some unemployed pops and the thing we're struggling right now is civilian industries criminals are of no concern I don't care all these planets building this same kind of thing. Two of those, and uh, let's see, where is it? Ministry of Production, which we can't put on there yet until the capital's up there. So. Look at this place. Wow. Jeez, talk about loaded. Some of these planets are really awesome. And it would almost be fun to just sit down and analyze them all, but... Workshop. Since we're short of consumer goods... We're short of consumer goods just because uh, so much of our empire is a bunch of other species, too. Let's see. what And, and I guess as synthetics, we still need consumer goods, don't we? Let's take a look. We are the Bioforge Masters. This is our race now. Habitability is 200%. That's what being synthetic buys you. We still have our intelligent thing. Pop housing usage, leader experience gain, and unity from jobs. You can see on a planet, at any point in time you can go into your population or down here and you can even look and see what your planet deficit is. Minus 7 food. There's our production and there's our upkeep. So culture worker jobs, 
require 20 consumer goods. Everything, everything else is using minerals. That's why I always say minerals are king. Worker living standards, there's some consumer goods there. Specialist living standards require some consumer goods. So I still need consumer goods as a synthetic. Now, I think that might go out the window if you're a robot, Reese, but I've never played one. That's one going to be one of the next things that I'm, I want to do is play like a gestalt consciousness. Construction complete. Um, Construction I complete. Play like a gestalt consciousness robot machine. Construction complete. Race that just tries to assimilate the whole entire universe. Construction complete. This is a research planet, and these guys can't have the research institute on there yet. So just give them a lab. So with food is going down, rising up we don't care about. Food is going down, that's okay, because we're still we're selling a bunch of food. So we can go in here and we can say at ten at a time, don't sell so many of them. And same thing with the consumer goods, we can say don't sell so many. Complete. Of them. We're still making tons of money and we have two K of these. So what I probably should do Research complete. is sell about a thousand a month at least. Oh my goodness. Administrative capacity. The mega art installation. We're never going to have time to do that. Let's try this again. Let's do... Let's do that. I want to get everything in the black here. And this planet. Oh, this Research is this planet. complete. Alright, research complete. What do we have for research complete? Battle, ship... Pull points, okay. And I'm doing I'm doing this backwards up here, which is why this is showing up wrong. Um, I'll fix that in a second. Let's do this. I'm being a bonehead. I don't need to sell more of these. I need to buy more of them. 125. So let's do that, and then that'll get us in the black on that. And part of, part of the reason everything's so expensive complete. is, of course, we are over our naval capacity. But again, kind of need to be. Construction complete. We have four titans. You can see here it says four titans in O of one Colossus. Scientists gains a trade. This is because we have these guys here, these two, two fleets at 220. That's because the wormhole goes directly into these fools system right here. So they've got two fleets of 103k a piece, which is still not good, because we have two fleets of 84 a piece. So we're not we're not in position to take them on yet. It says pathetic. Their fleet power is inferior compared to ours, but that's if, if all of our fleets were right next door to them, which they're not. So I still have a partial fleet over here. It's a small fleet. I have uh, my Federation fleet over here with another 74k fleet because this doesn't have any Titans. So with those two fleets and these two fleets, we should be able to knock these guys out. And my thought process is I certainly want to try to do it before 2450 because around 2450, maybe even earlier, is uh, when the end game crisis, whatever it is, is going to start happening. And when that happens, we we kind of need to be ready for it. So Harmony, time it takes for Pops to demote to a lower stratum. These guys don't have enough housing, but we're going to give them one more Construction of those. Complete. And then we're going to take one more of these. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Um... This is an energy planet, isn't it? It's got way more energy than minerals. Why don't we replace these with generator districts? And then the rest can be replaced with city districts. So we're just trying to get ahead of all of this stuff. Housing on this, same deal. There's not going to be enough housing on here, so we have to decide what do we want to do. Probably Research replace complete. some of these with cities. 
this case I'm going to change the name. It's not going to be split between two things and it's just going to be energy. So if I want to adjust robots for that, I can. That's why I do that naming scheme. This is getting down to where it only has six jobs now. Construction complete. Bioreactor. There's another one. It's got 25 jobs. And it's still a long ways away from getting a research institute, so we'll just keep putting labs on it. We have done quite a bit of work. All that's left for physics research is the 5% additions. So we've grabbed quite a few of the shield hit points. You can see that behind now what's lagging is energy credits and energy weapon damage. Um, I'm going to go for energy weapon damage next. I'm going to try to just kind of go round robin with those and uh, always keep them pretty close to each other. This is another commercial zone type of place. You can't put a galactic stock exchange until it has planetary capital on it. Complete. So this system just becomes uh, alloys, although the bioreactor is a pretty nifty thing. Ring World is a pretty cool place. Food. We don't need to sell so much of this anymore. And we're maxed out on these. Which maxes out that, which means we buy... Construction complete. Sell a bunch of food. That kind of thing. Borders are closed from the Raxar complete. Commissariat. Okay, how are they doing? The Rax... The the Versac Star Realm is the only one who's negative. The racks are actually 23, but their claims on us are minus 60, so they're going to keep going down over time until probably until they want to fight us again. And then I got these guys up here. Transport Fleet 1. They finally showed back up. I want them to go to here, to Keld. And where is my... I think it's right here somewhere in here. I think it's there. Or Scotia. If I just go click on it, what's it say? Yep, this is the planet that we build armies on. We got a bunch of armies ready to go right there. These guys all have a ton of experience. Alright, you are done there. So I want you to go to this other black hole we had. I want you to head over there. You can't do anything yet with it yet, because we can't. Research complete. Alright, so did you build the Dyson Sphere? No orders. I thought you were building the Dyson Sphere. Oh man, come on. Construction complete. Build megastructure. Dyson Sphere. Now it's not saying anymore. It's not giving me the option again. Oh, brother. Construction complete. Okay. Titan hole hit points. We'll take that. So this is where we were gonna build a Dyson Sphere, and then I had two ships here, and then somebody's not doing their thing, so. Class F ship. Build megastructure, and it says, can I build due to existing orbital station? Okay. Alright, so what somebody said on one of the forums is you have to delete the mining station above this. But this has a research station on it, so I'm going to look at, this has a research station on it. So where else could we potentially build it? Like here, we're going to try there. We're going to go there and we're going to look at what these say too. This has a mining one as well. So. We're going to try some different stuff here. Go right there. And we maxed out minerals again. Maxed out. We're maxing out everything. At this point in the game, sometimes what I do is I just stop messing around with these. And uh, <laughs> I just don't worry about it. And I let it stay maxed. But that's not really the most effective way to reduce your money. We're going to try building this Dyson Sphere. I was disappointed. I had two constructor ships there and neither one was working Construction correctly. Construction so. complete. What do I got? I got this guy there in this system. Construction What's going on complete. 
Can he build there? Build mega structure, Dyson Sphere. Can it build it to existing orbital structure? So if I go here, this is what? Rib Beacon Mining Station. Construction ship. And another mining station there. So if I take this mining complete. ship and I destroy it, now can this guy build a Dyson Sphere here? Yes, it says it can. So we're going to try that. Alright, we're going to build it in this system, Rint Beacon. It seems like there's a little bit of a bug in the, in the game in regards to that. These guys don't have everybody filling their job, so I'm not so worried about this. I can upgrade the capital. So, let's see what's going on. Construction complete. This planet is done. And it has enough housing to handle most of its upgrades, it looks like. So let's take a look at here. We're short on volatile motes and rare crystals. This planet already has some chemical plants on it, so let's do that. Let's invest the last thing in the city district. I'm telling you that having that black hole thing has made my life so much easier because to know that I have that many mineral credits coming in, that thing is awesome. That's like my new favorite thing is the matter decompressor. Wow, what a goal to have. As soon as you see a black hole, you're like, that's what I want. Because that takes care of the mineral problems. I mean, this is, look at this. Our monthly gain is $14.99. Produced total is 5859 and and 2400 of the 5859 is coming from the black hole. That is just construction complete. That's fantastic. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to find that out playing this game. I'm absolutely thrilled. Bioforge Prime, you're back too. The the declare population controls thing is is not having the impact that I would like it to have. Let's move you all to Hab C. Let's just pick three of you. Three of you humans you can move. Might move a couple more of you than that robot miner. Let's just move a bunch of you. This world is a different story. They have that going on. And in fact, uh, to, to handle all of the upgrades, I'm going to take this. And replace them with cities. And then you guys need jobs really bad. Construction complete. This planet barely has any... It's sitting at zero. Interdimensional trade increases. It's a... Uh... See, we could do this. We could place so one of those with the city district, and that'll take care of it. They also have population controls turned on. This is a planet that needs population controls turned on. Construction complete. So we'll do that. They need a bunch of jobs, don't they? So let's give them a bunch of jobs. Mizar, 15 jobs. Construction really? complete. Wow. Okay, and this says criminal owned the world. Let's do declare population controls here. And let's resettle a bunch of people to uh, like some of the other HABs. Like HAB A. All these unemployed workers. can all go. So Hab A. Just got a whole bunch of new people. And and you're still not maxed out for your jobs, are you? Do a research segment. A research lab. We'll get you all geared up. You'll be great. Food. And consumer goods. We're buying some, but we're not buying enough. Oh. There we go, because we're selling so many minerals, it's awesome. Construction awesome. complete. I'm really thinking about attacking the fallen empire, which seems like it might be a bad idea. Research complete. Hmm. I know something I'm gonna do. Fleet command limit, okay. What do I have and where do I have it? Right there. You come over here and survey the system. 
The fact that these systems haven't been surveyed is a little annoying. So we're going to go do that. The Habitat. 20 jobs available. Oh, I don't need to worry about providing any more jobs, do I? jobs. I just need to start building it. The, the ring world is awesome. It's, it's fantastic. Order restored. Good. This, since I'm having construction s complete. Since my people seem to be growing at a really rapid pace now. I'm going to worry less about that. This, place this with Three more jobs there. You need both of these cities to help with jobs. This place is in bad shape, isn't it? They're not, they aren't going to have enough. Change some of those. Add some luxury housing. scroll over I, I can't believe how easily I missed that one it's jobs jobs construction complete it's just what you can do to keep up isn't it man everything is population growth everything is just booming my whole species is just going off the charts Replace that with. Nope, not that. You moved on me, mouse. Stronghold. Here, let's put synthetic crystal plants. I can't imagine how people do this in multiplayer. Like, I have to habitually hit the, the, the space bar to pause the game. Not pausing the game seems just playing in multiplayer seems like it would be insane. You guys who do that are, are really skilled. Not like me. <laughs> Construction complete. Not like the unskilled guy over here. Okay, we're still short. Construction we're going to the one things we're really falling really far behind on, so we should probably make some effort to start trying to catch up on that so we don't have to just buy them. We don't want to be we don't want to be buying all our consumer goods from China. That's not. That's no way to live. Construction complete. I'll tell you. Oh, look at this. This place needs a ton of jobs. Okay. Construction complete. Just going willy nilly now, trying to keep up. Which is certainly going to short me on this stuff. See, we're already coming down to rare crystals. We're like, ah! You guys. System survey complete. Right here, what do we have? Three more jobs. Barely enough housing for these upgrades. So let's do this. Seven more jobs. Construction so complete. Need more housing. Just, just, just earlier, what was Construction it? Construction complete. Earlier, oh, Research look at complete. This. We need a lot more housing here. Um, they have plenty of amenities. So we're going to take the whole of theater. We're not going to upgrade it. We're going to replace it with luxury housing. Because luxury housing provides amenities as well. So if you're tossed up between, what do I do? If you start to run short of housing, get rid of your whole of theaters and put luxury housing in. They're going to provide amenities and then you're going to get what you need. This needs a lot more jobs with the housing thing is going to be. This and civilian industry. Talk Construction about. complete. Research. All right. Elegates insight. Gain. And what's next on this list? Either building cost or energy credits for jobs. Let's do that. I'm going to kind of keep them all caught up together. Construction complete. And this planet this. This is a research plan. Let's go for the research institute. 
So I was gonna say it was uh, earlier, not on YouTube. Construction. I finally beat XCOM 2: War of the Chosen, and I beat it on Commander Iron Man mode, which I gotta say made me feel really bad. No saves coming. I never backed up the save file or anything. I just went straight through. I lost eight soldiers total over the whole campaign. I lost five of those soldiers on two missions because I was stupid and didn't retreat and pull myself out when, when I knew things were bad. And I was like, oh, one more turn and I might be able to turn the tide in my favor. And unfortunately, it just it, it didn't work. I went really, really bad and I lost soldiers. So... Construction complete. So there was one mission, probably in the latter third of the game, where I had some really, I had some really nice tech. In fact, um, I love, I love some of the unique um, things that you can give your soldiers, like Talon, Talon rounds. So I had a ranger with Talon rounds. I had another specialist with a mimic beacon and I had another person with something else that was really great System and fortunately none of them had the, the weapons from the chosen but those three people died I lost my minute beacon mimic beacon I lost my talent rounds I lost three good soldiers and I was like oh you dummy you just you didn't pull out soon enough <laughs> a little pun intended there but it was it was pretty horrible and I thought I wasn't going to make it, but then I got to the end of the game and actually System survey had an easier time at the end game on commander level difficulty in Iron Man mode than I'd ever done in any other run through just because complete. I think by then I really understood how to play complete. the game with that harder difficulty level. I learned a lot of, a lot of lessons along the way. Construction complete. And one of the things I learned is like, for instance, the, the first. Complete. Oh, pirate side. The first. Construction complete. Four or five missions on Commander were the hardest missions by far. And then it started to get a little easier. And uh, part of that was just the difficulty curve of the game. Part of that was also learning how to play on Commander. Learning that uh, it, if you're just playing XCOM 2 or even regular XCOM and you're not playing on the higher difficulties, you can get away with a lot. You can just you can play really aggressive, kind of reckless, and not worry about it. And I, I like playing that way. It's fun. But Research Commander complete. level difficulty taught me that uh, you couldn't do that. For instance, in the first, at least in the first five missions, you have to take every shot from high ground. Um, you can afford to take other shots later in the game not from high ground, but ge in general you wanted to spend all your time taking every single shot from high ground. It was, the, you needed the advantage that badly. And, uh, oh my gosh, it was just trying to set up ambushes and making sure that the very first engagement on any mission always occurred with an overwatch ambush so that you could kill as many of them as possible before you had to do anything else it was uh the versat galactic hierarchy wishes to declare war against the raxar commissariat well war is ways to seize claimed enemy systems using this war goal to take claims generates 25 less threat for east congress they want to do that and i'm a little hesitant to do that because it's going to be at least it's going to be a long war i'm going to vote no um, not that I don't like war, not that I don't want to get rid of the Raxar, but the Raxar, I'm not as concerned about that now. And alien megastructure built in the Rufari High Kingdom. So I'm I'm more concerned at this point in time in the game when it's 24, 27. I'm more concerned about the Fallen Empire and the the looming problems with uh, some of with the end game stuff so I'm with the end game person I, I'm just not I'm not thinking that now is a good time to go to war actually let's not do that I don't want to do the mineral purification we're gonna change this construction complete to a generator district or something else so this is gonna get replaced Research 
We're gonna just provide more jobs. We need a lot more jobs on this planet. Habs. Yep, those are all the Habs. Let's see. This is all research. They need some people to be employed. They don't have an Atokthan mind. That's just an oversight. That's no good. Research complete. Planet build speed, that took all of two seconds. Elegate insights. All right, where are we at? The Elegates were at five or seven. So that's another thing we got to worry about is the Elegate. That is absolutely positively something Construction complete. that we have to worry about. And I need more consumer goods, people. More consumer. So this planet is done. It's got population control. control. So whenever we have a chance, we need to resettle them and like have A or B or wherever. So robot farmer. I can, I can switch some humans too. So I'm going to do that. So they have room to grow is why I'm doing that. Research complete. Search complete fleet command limit. All right, what's left? Leader lifespan, unique duration, star base capacity. I'm just going to keep grabbing those because I know I'm going to want some later. So let's take a look at this. These guys need seven more jobs. This is an upgrade for three more jobs. This is an upgrade for one more job. And this is an upgrade for three more jobs. So at that point in time, you guys are done. Criminal underworld, we've already declared population complete. control. So we just need to move. Construction People complete. around. These guys have population controls. This is only going to provide three more housing. It's not going to take care of their whole problem there. So what do I want to do about this planet? I just want to resettle some of these people. They have a lot of unemployed people. So let's put them Construction on the... Hab C has a ton of jobs. So we're going to send all our unemployed workers over. They're going to say, hey, you know, you should just... You should want to go work on a planet that actually has jobs. Miser has four people that need jobs. We can provide that by upgrading those, but we're, we're just about to run out of moats and, and rare crystals, so we're going to have to start building some of those. This is research. Construction this complete. Three more jobs. Construction this complete. One more job, and then these guys are done. So we're going to resettle some of them as well. To Hab C has four more jobs. So those four jobs just got taken. This finishes this. Now we're down to the last ascension perk. I'd like to have the Colossus. Colossus Project, but the Defender of the Galaxy for the Endgame Crisis Faction damage in everyone's opinion increased by 20. Complete. Taking that, so that we can totally handle the Endgame Crisis when it comes to the I hope so. These guys don't have a lot of uh, housing for everything they need, and they've got a bunch of, bunch of people. So again, Hab D, let's move all these people. Order restored. Okay, those are no concern. Alright. So Hab D just got a whole bunch of people. And we're gonna do that and that'll give them a bunch more housing and a bunch more jobs. So they can handle Construction that. Complete. Order restored on Coyote. These guys, same thing, they need more jobs and more housing, so each one of these segments gives 20 housing and 20 jobs. Which is awesome. Awesome. This world has a few... So it's got too many population controls are on it. So again, we need to do the same thing. Re Excuse me. Criminal. Oh, I don't want to move criminals. Not unless they're smooth criminals. Let's see. These are all done except for building costs. Then they're all going to be even again. Bio for You can resell a couple people. Dyson Sphere Construction. Oh my 
goodness. Okay. Harnessing the power of the stars has been a dream of the Bioforge engineers throughout history. From crude combustion to the pale imitation of solar fusion. And we now stand ready to realize this dream. In the Rent Beacon system sits the scaffold upon which we will build a Dyson Sphere. Encompassing a Rent Beacon and not monopolizing the cataclysmic power of the star. So Rent Beacon. Right there. So down in here in Rent Beacon is this Dyson Sphere site. Dyson Sphere frame. So this will be a piecemeal deal that'll take some time. Yeah, so the Vrukax are saying please, and what are these guys saying? What's this split thing? It means a go to either way depending on what I do? Okay, tell you what. I'll vote yes. More okay, declared. More um, I'm going to go along with your dumb little war, but here's the deal. You guys are doing all the fighting. We have discovered that you are building a Dyson Sphere around a central star in one of our most beloved constellations, the One-Eyed Wanderer. The Wanderer has watched over our kind since the beginning of time. With her single eye, she guides not only our fleets, but the stars themselves in their journey across the sky, and now you have built a sphere around it, blinding her. Though it will take many years before we can tell the difference from here, the notion that she won't be watching over our future generations has shaken our people, and they deserve a formal apology. Issue a formal apology share some of our energy with it. Um, okay. You can have a formal apology, but we're still building the sphere. <laughs> Construction we're sorry. Complete. We're still building the sphere. Blind Wander. In an attempt to repair some of the damage done to the relation between our Emperor and the Rafari High Kingdom, following the construction of a Dyson Sphere around one of their most beloved stars, our Overseer traveled all the way to their homeworld to deliver a sincere apology to their people. Though it may take them some time to recover from their loss, they appreciate that we made an effort. Hopefully, from now on, the relations between our empires will only Construction improve. Construction complete. Construction complete. One can hope. What's, oh my god, our research is 10k. I don't think I've ever had a research number that high. That is blowing my noodle. For sure. Research complete. It's awesome. Research complete. Elgate, Elgate insights gain. Okay. Let's see what's not going to cost a lot. Cruiser build speed. All these, these don't cost very much. Let's just do them because they're cheap. A formal apology. That's all it took. Construction complete. Okay. I think we're really short on this. So let's build as many of those as we can. So, war has been declared, and we don't want any part of it. Raxar have a bunch of ships over there. Construction complete. We have enough that we could build a small fleet. Like this one. 7.5k. Take a look complete. at some. What are their fleets over here? 23. It's hardly anything, isn't it? Okay, tell you what. You go take care of them. Your tiny little feet, you're the gate warden fleet, but we're going to send you on a mission. L gate insights gained. <coughs> Six of seven. Are we ready for the L gate? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Jeez, I'm sorry about that. I know that sounds really horrible in this microphone. I know this microphone is really loud, and it's not my intention to make you all have to sit through that horrible sound. Okay. Let's do the L gate then, yeah. Construction let's complete. Let's see what happens. I'm curious about the L gate. Um, I haven't done it in so long, I've kind of forgotten complete. what it's all about, so. Synth leader out of commission, Admiral Kin de Ulto has suffered a terminal malfunction due to a manufacturing error. Oh, wow. So synths don't last forever. Which Admiral is he? Displaced Flotilla. The Gate Warden Fleet. The Pirate Hunters. Six Star Order. Where are you guys at? You're right there. You're taking care of pirates, so we're gonna give you a leader. Um, oh my god, 
cars. The dog is the dog cracks me up. The dog symbol over leader cost and leader upkeep. Sensor range. Ship weapons range. Let's see that. Interesting. So let's take a look at our species. Construction complete. Everybody else is being assimilated. Construction complete. So what are these guys doing? There's two of them. We create a template. We want you guys to be like this. Construction complete. Construction complete. Species modified. We want to see everybody uniform. Uniform. You ding dongs. Okay, we're gonna apply this template to all the rest of the species here. Situation log updated. Species modified. What are you guys? You like what? Alpine preference? Oh no. No 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 no. no. And construction complete. Create that template and apply that template to every single one of you. Construction ding complete. You guys, you prefer hostile fleet tropical detected. presence. Hostile fleet detected. Where? Right there. Species How modified. big are they? 1,200. You go. You got a job to do. You go do that. I don't really want to be at war with those guys, but you know, your faction keeps saying, "Hey, be at war. We want to. We want to get rid of these guys." Station under attack. And I do understand it, and it is a giant pain in the butt. The the, the Raxar commissariat have been a Hostile giant pain engaged. in the butt since the beginning. So, okay, you guys did what? Oh, survey that system. So you've surveyed these systems. Construction complete. We still don't know anything about these guys. This is really strange. Their reputation with us, sort by their opinions, has been just... Eh. Don't care. I wonder if they've awakened, if they're going to awaken, and I wonder if we should do something about it before that happens. Now, we are repairing... <laughs> That Dyson, we're building this Dyson sphere in Rint Bikun, but what's this guy doing? He's doing nothing. Which makes me wonder if the guys. Construction complete. System survey complete. Where's that other black hole at? How come I can't see it now? Like a ding dong. Well, let's find the construction ships for it. Not there. Right there. Can you build one of those things? Hello, game. Build mega structure. Matter decompression site. Cannot build outside Empire borders. It's not in our. Cannot build due to existing orbital station. Is a black hole. Due to immense requirements, we can only build or upgrade one mega structure at a time. Okay, so it's in. Oh, it's outside of ours, isn't it? It's not in our land. It's in the Andigal partnership. Okay. I see it's not actually in ours, so. Well, bummer. There's bummer of a birthmark, Hal. That kind of stinks. Right, you guys are done there. Cool. What's going to happen is we're going to send these guys up here. And they're just going to hang out. Actually, not going to hang out. They're research gonna complete. Assist research there. And when we go to war with the Fallen Empire, they're going to be the ones who are responsible for researching all of the tech that gets dropped out here. First wave, you can be upgraded. Oh, where do you have to go to upgrade? You guys going to upgrade? Why are you doing that? Okay, hold on. Just stay there. Who's this? Okay. Research complete. Elegate insights gathered. We have now gathered sufficient elegate insights to research the technolo technology behind them. Once this has been done, one of our science ships should be able to abort 
perpetual maintenance cycle they are stuck in the L cluster is almost within their reach what I'm gonna do is build a system here star base here this is gonna be this is gonna be a shipyard so it can feed these guys L gate insights gained okay defense platform hit points we need to sell some of these so L gate insights these gateways have been deliberately disabled by someone, and for now, we lack the necessary insight into subspace mechanics that govern their use. Research complete. Lift the lockdowns. All right, unlocks. Activate L gate. That could be. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Terminator, the music that uh, Sarah Connor's roommate and friend is listening to. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a mistake thinking about that right now okay, yep the elegate could be a giant mistake resettle hab c has a bunch of jobs so let's do that hostile fleet detected okay a hostile fleet detected what do we have here? You guys, they have 1,200 and you guys are 3,500. You should just be able to hold the line right there. That's all you need to do. Hold the line. Where is the L gate going to be? Where is the L gate going to be? Construction complete. Right, I'm going to end this episode here because um, it's kind of been chaos. Folks, as always, if you guys dig the channel, hit the subscribe button if you want to. If you like the episode, hit the like button if you want to. And if you have a question or comment, just drop it down below. I appreciate everybody who watches. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.